So, um, the apartment's still a little sparse. That's okay. Uh, gives me more room to practice with. And uh, I got a set of mirrors on the way next week. So, awesomeness. In the meantime, um, I've fallen back upon some old practice habits of taking a concept I don't entirely grok, namely these hyperloops, and doing a hundred repetitions of them a day, which, as you can see, is definitely helping. I'm still not at the point where I'm doing them correctly 100% of the time, but it's definitely, uh, it's definitely getting closer. Um, also, kind of newbie-ish tech. Um, I think everybody and their uncle but me knows how to do these kind of under the light moves. And uh, I'm in the process of catching up on that one. Um, like I'd really love to be able to do the like switching back and forth scissor kind of motion with your feet, but not quite there yet. I'm working on it though. Uh, so yes, uh, not newbie tech. Hooray! So, um, I watched a, a, a video of you just spinning about a year ago and spotted a cool variation on that idea of doing the stall switching between the different flower directions, right? What if instead of switching flower directions, oops, like I said, what if instead of switching flower directions, we switched into a cap? Theoretically then, you could also switch from the cap right back into the flower. And from the flower into the cap. And from the cap into the flower. It looks a lot better from wall plane, um, of which I'm actually a big fan of this one. So if you take this standard variation on the uh, anti-spin flower, and say when you reach the top and the bottom, you switch into the cap in wall plane, and then you can switch right back into the flower if you want to. Switching the cap going the other way. And then back into the flower. Cap. Flower. Cap. Flower. Whoops. Flower. Cap. Flower. Cap. Flower. Cap. Flower. <laughs> flower. Cap, flower, cap, flower, cap, flower, cap. Um, yeah, so I think that's nifty personally, but that's just me. Um, it actually it makes me think of a more complex version of um, this kind of pattern that Insignia and Baz and I have been playing with. Except we're introduced flowers instead of extensions, per se. Um, Next up, this is still more in the theory phase, but um, I've gotten far enough with it that I can at least show something how to do with it. So as we start off with a cap, imagine if one hand breaks out of it for a second, like uh, say that. really a bitch to keep the left hand going in this pattern. But it's at least working. The idea eventually being that if you can really get this down, imagine like going back and forth with your cat patterns and switching which way they're going uh, in that kind of grid where you've got your diamond got your vertical and the horizontal, right? In which case, like, atomic-wise, you should be able to switch between any of those traverses. And technically speaking, um, if you got that down, you could even then do it with uh, the diagonal planes as well. Um, yeah, so I'll keep working on that and see, uh, see if there are any cool places that leads. Um, next up, so we have the um, elliptical cap. which you'll notice that at each single point, the hand 
the, the poi is, the, the hand is moving anti-spin, the direction of the poi, right? Um, so in playing with this, I wondered what might happen if you, say, broke out of that and gave the poi a chance to, uh, to go around the extension side rather than anti-spin side. And the result, I think, actually looks kind of interesting. Or say, if you were to switch which direction you were going. Like so. In which case... I think it creates a kind of interesting pattern because it breaks up the, uh, the anti-spin nodes with uh, full-on extensions. So I imagine them kind of breaking up the pattern to some degree. And uh, I don't know, just another layer of visual interest to it. Um, finally, so <laughs> I, like everybody else in the world, have been watching um, Mel's video of uh, his performance at the Fires Festival. And I'm trying to get down that horizontal cat eye anti bridge that he's doing at one point during the video. Working on it, it's not there yet. So, keep watching in future weeks, hopefully, there will be some more stuff to see there. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's this week in a nutshell. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll catch you next week. Peace.